So, you're thinking of buying an NFT, a nice freaking top hat. Well, I got you down. You're gonna look very snazzy. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make this little log, this pixel art log in a sprite. Today, we haven't done pixel art in a while, so I am very, very keen to get started. The first thing that I wanna do is we're in a 16 by 16 canvas, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pick a nice little brown color. Um, we're gonna we're gonna just choose uh, a dark 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 brown for the outline. We're not gonna do black dark 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 brown. Um, and I'm gonna make like a little a little uh, a little outline for us here. So we're gonna put one there, and then maybe like three up like that. Maybe actually four. Uh, maybe we'll do it like this. We'll just move it down. So hit hit M on your keyboard to bring up this little box selection. Just drag a box over top of that. Just drag it down. Maybe a little bit over there as well. Um, all right, then select, deselect. There we go. Now, um, we might just do three. What does three look like if we do like this? It looks fine, I, I suppose. Yeah, that's good. That looks cool. Actually, it might be a little too skinny, actually. Let's let's go ahead and do one more. So we'll make it four pixels wide. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll click once there. Hold on, shift. And then create a line that goes all the way over there. Same thing on this side. Line that goes all the way over there. Hold on, control and shift. And then we can just connect these bad boys up like that. So there we go. That's our log. We're done. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the rest of it. Now that we have the line down, which is the base of the pixel art, obviously, because now we have that done. We can fill in the inside. It's kind of like doing a puzzle. Always do the outsides first. You know what I mean? Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to gra gra grab a generic brown color somewhere about there. Hit G to go to bucket fill and then just click inside of there and bucket fill that. Now I want to section off the first piece so it looks like that's like a cut piece, like the, the the log is cut off. So let's go ahead and make this color a little tiny bit lighter, um, maybe just a little bit more than that. A little bit lighter and then we can go ahead and hit B to go back to brush and then just uh, fill this piece in and this piece as well. There we go. Um, so that looks good, nice, I like it. But there is an issue now because this is so much brighter. We need to make another even brighter outline, which is like the edge of the log, which that might be a little bit too bright. But for now, we will um, leave. Actually, I won't. I'm going to eye drop this. Hit I to eye drop. Hit I grab that. Hit B back to the brush. And then we'll just pull it up just a little tiny bit. A little, a little bit too bright. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Okay, cool. Now, with that, maybe saturate a little bit, actually. With that done, uh, maybe we'll saturate this as well, actually. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Yeah, that's okay. That's, that's, that's good. Nice. There we go. There we go. That's that's the one right there. All right, cool. So now that that's done, like I said, I want to go ahead and do the uh, other pieces of so the textures. So essentially, I'm going to eye drop the darker brown color we have for the base. And then we'll put that inside of this by creating this little... Oops, by creating this little pattern like that um so it's like it's like rounded and like that's the spirals of the inside of the log because you know logs have that if you've ever seen a log <laughs> um but yeah so let's once again grab this base color and then we'll drop the color down just slightly and maybe saturate it a little bit and then we can well, maybe not that much saturation there you go then we can go ahead and create some lines i'm gonna do lines every other um line so hold down shift and control to make those lines perfectly straight um i don't think i really want to do it right now. if we do like every other line it's gonna look weird like checkers like this right so that doesn't look good so what i want to do is like i said i will do every other line so we'll skip one web two so boom 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 like a little staircase you know um same thing over here and then we'll do this last one i guess down here like that um which looks fine looks like a shadow um nice so with that done, it needs a, needs a little bit more texture. So let's go ahead and maybe create a darker one. So um, grab that and then just drop it down a little bit. And maybe something like this, but on the top part, maybe. Okay, that looks good. I like that. Yeah, okay, that's good. Nice. Well, it's too patterny now. Let's go ahead and actually... <clears throat> Okay, maybe maybe that looks good like that, and then maybe we shall make some of these pieces in the middle portion brighter, like that. Okay, yeah, 
There you go. That's that's uh, looking good, looking nice and spiffy. Now with the darker colors, I do want to maybe add. No, never mind. Um, I do want to go ahead and maybe add a little bit of a highlight on some of these lighter parts. So let's go ahead and grab the this base color right here, and then just brighten it ever so slightly, and then maybe more than that. And then we should go ahead and do something like this. There we go. Just so it's a little bit breaking it up a little bit, you know? Yeah. Nice. Cool. So with that done, the last thing I want to do is maybe texture this up a little bit. So this little piece in the inside here is looking a little not textury, um, which is not what I want. So let's drop this down and then we'll just do something very simple like that. Um, just to give it a little bit more of something and then maybe this little piece as well on the inside I drop it drop it down and then we'll do something like that Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool cool cool. Um, I also want to do something with this so I darken that a little bit Just so it's not exactly the same all the way around that might be a little bit too orangey pink There we go desaturate that bad boy a little bit. Maybe drop it down a little bit more Okay, there you go. Nice. With that done, uh, we can now move to... Actually, wait, what does it look like if I do this? No, nah, no, nah, it looks like it's indented. I don't know, wait, pause. If I put it there... Okay, that was good. If we put two, two of the darker brown pieces right there on the outside edge of this, um, this lighter bit, then it looks a little cool. It looks kind of like there's like... Or a little bit more depth to that, that piece there. Now, the last, 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 last thing I want to do is I want to drop this brown color down a little bit more actually because it's kind of uh bright now that i see it um again let's go ahead and darken all this up just by um coloring all that in now the final final thing that i want to do for real for real this time guys is create a little leaf so i want to make a little leaf because that's cute um so we'll do like a, a darker green color and then we'll create like a shape like that i suppose get a really dark green color for the outline like this oh that's adorable nice now with that done i want to hit m to grab all this hold down shift to select multiple different areas so grab those two and move it down um maybe there maybe oh wait maybe there um i kind of went in the middle though is the thing you know like i want to do like there or something um i think it looks good there we'll leave it there okay nice we'll leave it right there and then hit select deselect and then we can go ahead and grab the green color that's on the inside, uh, brighten it a little bit, put a little bit more to the yellow, and then we can go ahead and create a nice little highlight right there. Uh, or maybe actually there. No, no, no. There, and then we'll make a darker color. Drop it down, add a little bit of blue to it. And put it in. There you go. So that's our little leaf. Adorable, actually. Very, very cute. Uh, stuff going on here, but that's our log. So I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new with this log. I think this little line might not be bright enough now, actually. So let's go ahead and reinforce this line um, just really, really quickly. There we go. I think it looks a little bit better now, maybe, perhaps, per chance. Um, like that. Okay, cool. I like it. That is a nice log. Actually, I want to make maybe a little bit too bright. So we'll just, we'll just keep it a solid line like that. That's fine. It looks good. All right. But yeah, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, that is our uh, pixel art wood icon item, whatever you want to call it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.